So the native app launcher for your Android TV is quite restrictive with emulated apps. I mean, you've got app launchers like Nova, Niagara, Microsoft for your mobile, where you can just really switch things up and even the interface to suit your style. It's frustrating that you can't do the same for your Android TV. And I'm not just talking about user interface, it's also about the restrictions that the native launcher has. And your hands are pretty much tied if you want to use a restricted VPN or even Google Chrome on your Android TV, which is where third-party app launchers come in and take it over so that you can do that on your Android TV. First up, we've got Sideload Launcher. Now, you can easily install any Android app on your TV, but the native Android launcher won't let you view them. Why? Well, it does so to make sure your experience does not deteriorate while trying your favorite apps on your TV. And it makes sense. I mean, who likes a stretched out version of Instagram on your TV anyway? But there are times when you want to sideload Android apps on your TV. For example, like say, I can simply install the Smart DNS Proxy VPN app on my Nvidia Shield using a thumb drive, but accessing it is only possible once I have a sideload launcher installed. Just launch Sideload Launcher and find the icon for the SCP VPN. Now launch and connect, then you'll see the unblocked internet. ATV Launcher is yet another powerful launcher for your Android TV. Unlike the sideloaded launcher, this one can be set as a default launcher. Once you've set it as default, you can view all of your TV as well as sideloaded apps under one home screen with five apps in a row. The best part about ATV is that it lets you access those sideloaded apps and games. ATV also supports hidden apps, although to activate it, you have to update it to Pro. ATV can be downloaded free of cost from the Play Store. Give that a go. Next up, we have a TV launcher. This one is one of those apps that requires a bit of effort to set up. But once you do, it has the potential to run everything silk smooth. Like the other launchers in the video, TV launcher is available on the Play Store for free. Once you install it and set it as default launcher, you get nothing on the home screen. You have to choose the apps that you want to see in the given list, such as favorites, media, games, utility. Use the plus icon to add under these categories and you'll notice the icons appearing. You can also change the grid size starting from 3 to 6. Another interesting thing about this launcher is that it supports dark themes, which can be enabled by going to settings and then theme. And there you can switch the base theme to dark. The launcher is ad supported, although while testing it, I didn't see many ads. If you're a fan of customizing your launcher yet keeping it simple, then the TV launcher will see you. ATL stands for Handheld Android Launcher, which is quite true for its name, although all other launchers in the list allowed you to view the sideloader apps, but if you forget them after installing, there's nowhere to find out which app is native Android based and which one is sideloaded. HAL removes this confusion with the category Handheld present on the home screen. Once you install it, Handheld tab lets you see only handheld apps which were designed for mobile devices and being emulated on the TV interface. There are other categories as well, like for handheld and TV, which lets you view apps for both handheld and TV, and for TV, which shows you only apps which are made for TV. There's even a streaming tab to let viewers choose apps for streaming only. What kind of app launches do you use on your Android TV? I mean, what kind of TV do you use in the first place? Just curious as all. Well. We've done a video on how to use SmartVPN on your Android TV, so give that one a watch. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video, and you should subscribe because that's what people do at the end of a video.